all right folks what is going on this is episode 506 of the first and frame rate show i am vf baller over here we talk about georgia southern and atlanta falcons football and today has been a really weird day it's been one of those days that you really just don't know what's going on i mean you especially with all the things that have been going on with the monday night football game prayers still go out to you know damar hamlin you know you just hate to see something like that happen and Throughout the day, I've just been waiting for news to see if anything coming up on that, and not much. Everything that you knew the day before is still, as of right now, is the same. I mean, maybe by the time this actual recording of the show is over, some new news may come up. But other than that, it's still the same old, same old. So thoughts and prayers with him and his family, and hopefully everything will continue to progress. Other than that, I hope you guys had a pretty good day, all things considering. If this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Thank you guys for the support. And overwhelmingly, you know, uh, people just been reaching out. Yeah, my son is talking about the game again. Yeah, I see the twist. Overwhelming support of the show. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And uh, as usual, sometimes my son will be in the background sitting here playing a game and you also see on the other side of the background, I am getting ready to put stuff away because we are moving. So um, hopefully you guys will be patient with all that's going on. If you're listening on the podcast avenue, this whole studio is going to be, or this game room is going to be moved out. We're going to be moving to another place and uh, it's just going to be a big transition. Um, first and foremost, uh, this show is brought to you by BetUS. If you want to bet on a national title game, some of these other games that are coming up, you want to put some wages down, click that link down in the description, put down $100 to get 125% bet book bonus. Um, it's hard to really say if it's a good time to actually put wages on games with the way things are going, but if you do, you will get that bonus. So go ahead and click that link. And uh, if you want to put that uh, money down and it helps um, the channel as well. So hopefully you guys We'll check that out. All right, three players that have been with Georgia Southern that are moving on after they fulfilled their commitment to the school and going on the green pastures. All three have some type of aspirations to go into the NFL, and I think these guys are going to be phenomenal for any team that decides to pick them up. I'm dead serious about this. Uh, I've always big been big on Najee Thompson. Um, Amari Jones have shown what he can do. And Kyle Van Trees just came to George Southern and shows that he can play some football. And uh, I, I'm just going to just give you a brief rundown of all three, not necessarily throw stats out there because sometimes stats sound good. I don't like using stats for some things. I really just like to go out there and let you guys know what is what's real when it comes to these guys. Also like to talk about um, the impact they have as, you know, just young men. I mean, all three of these guys are just great. So I want to start off with Cal Vantries. I just did an episode on that, on in, on his uh, progress throughout Georgia Southern and the way that he carried himself and the type of quarterback and young man that he is when I did the thank you episode. It, there's no doubt in my mind. The way I saw the way he played, I think he has NFL aspirations and I think it'll work out. I think that whatever team he goes to, he has the leadership ability and the talent to actually throw the football to any NFL receiver in game. I think he's capable of doing so. I would like to see him do that. Um, as soon as he stepped on campus at Georgia Southern, I knew that, you know, something special was about him. He came from Buffalo, University of Buffalo, and he just carried himself like a leader. He just had this thing about him where you wanted to follow what he was about. You He wanted to follow what he can do and follow the, the path that he's taken on the field as a football field general. And he didn't disappoint. Um, you know, the numbers don't speak for the impact he actually had, not only with the transition of Georgia Southern, also the entire, um, you know, uh, team itself and the guys who stayed around who were looking for the, how this, looking how the, for how this direction was going to go. Because a lot of people didn't know how it was a spread option. You know, we rarely pass the ball type of situation. Coach Clay Helton comes in, and not only that, he brings along, you know, this offense and then turns right back around 
and bring the quarterback along, uh, bring a quarterback in who's, you know, for all of his purposes, didn't we didn't think that he was going to take it to this next level because we saw what he did at Buffalo, which was, you know, weren't bad numbers. But when he got into this offense and learned the system and learned how to read the football field, I mean, he just put up phenomenal numbers, almost threw for, you know, uh, I think he what, threw over almost 4,000, a little over 4,000 yards. I can't remember. But he's done a phenomenal job at leading this team to where it needed to go. Now, it didn't end the way we did that we wanted it to, but watching him, you know, go through the motions of beating Appalachian State, beating Nebraska, you know, also beating, uh, you know, um, beating James Madison, you know, those those type of memories that he brought down to um, brought from Buffalo down to Georgia Southern is something that would never, ever be forgotten. The leadership qualities of this kid is unmatched. He had other guys believing in him, some guys believing in themselves, and that's the type of character you would want, not only in a football player, but just a young man. And he has all those qualities, and I can't wait to see what he's capable of doing when it comes to him possibly reaching that next level. You know, it's not guaranteed that he'll go to the NFL, but whoever decides to pick him up, they're going to get a pretty nice quarterback. I, I, I firmly believe it. And then they're going to get a guy who's going to catch up, uh, who can grasp the, the, the game, a guy who can grasp the knowledge of whatever scheme they're trying to run and be a leader uh, on the field. And that's all that you would want out your quarterback. You don't need him. You know, these quarterbacks that, that that's Pat Mahomes and, and doing all these uh, other phenomenal things talent-wise, you know, that's great. I'm not going to take nothing away from it. You love to see that. But they got to be a leader first. They have to be a person who can guide an offense down the field. If they can do that and able to use their talents to execute, they'll be fine. And I think Kyle Ventries has that. I, I really think he does. Next person I want to talk about is Amari Jones. Amari Jones had a season in the injury, which was kind of unfortunate. But that guy was on his way to do great things at wide receiver. Now, not to take say that he was on his way. I think he did some great things at wide receiver. I think at the time he was our leading receiver. He was doing some phenomenal things on the field. And even before then, he was somewhat of a utility guy. He did wide receiver a little bit the year before. He did some um, running back, and he played quarterback for us at one point. So Amari Jones did have those traits to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to be a bona fide receiver, but I can do a lot of other things. You did actually could do some things with special teams as well. Very special kid. Very special kid. One guy that I was uh, extremely happy that he came to Georgia Southern when he was when he left uh, Tulane and transferred to Georgia Southern. And when he came in, he made an immediate impact. Immediate impact. And those are the type of players that you will want at the next level. Guys who could make an impact with any and everything that you uh, put them put out there for them to do. It's not, it's not like you very, very, very a uh, few times that you have a situation where a guy comes into a league and necessarily is good for one particular thing. I think you normally have that for linemen, maybe pass rusher and quarterback. Sometimes you have some cornerbacks that have to play safety. Sometimes you have some running backs who need to catch out the backfield. Sometimes you have a tight end that can score out to wide receiver. Sometimes I see. Good job. High five. All right. My son's playing Ninja Turtles. He's having a blast. Um, you you have other guys that are out here that um that play fullback that could be tight end. Some guys who play tight end that can also play on the offensive uh, offensive line. I mean, you got some offensive linemen that can play tight end. So, but with you know, it's good to have that asset when you have other you know other traits on the field. So even though he may be looked at as a wide receiver, a team could pick him up for something else. So not necessarily saying that he's going to be uh pretty much uh a wide receiver. He could be a special team nightmare, you know, or he could be you know uh something else where he could be um. Hold on, son. Let me let me let me fix that for you because you're going the wrong way here. Um, he could also be somewhat of, you know, like I said, a, a kick returner, a punt returner, you know, a slot guy. I think he'd do phenomenal at the slot position, phenomenal at the slot position. So it is, it's just something that you may want to, you know, just, you know, just think about. 
he's not just one position that you want want to see this guy yet. So Amari Jones, definitely an NFL drive undrafted free agent gym. No doubt in my mind that this kid will be something special if he goes to the next level. Last but not least, I mean, who could, where do I begin when it comes to Najee Thompson? Najee Thompson has been to Georgia Southern, I think, all his, um, all his collegiate career. I, I don't think he started anywhere else. But Najee has just been a phenomenal, phenomenal football player for us. He made the 20, I mean, top 10 for ESPN with a phenomenal catch when he played wide receiver, switched over to cornerback uh, in the last couple of seasons. Even before then, he's been a special team specialist, if that makes sense. I mean, you're talking about a kid that can really, really do it all. Now, I know I talked about Amari Jones, and I'm not taking nothing away from him because he does very does things just as well. But Najee Thompson is just like, you know, one and the same when it comes to uh, a guy that's just a specialist on the field. This kid could be uh, drafted or picked up by a team for, a pl for plenty of things. Cornerback, safety, punt return, kick return, wide receiver. You know, um, uh, I, I, you know, I, it just any, anything on the special teams, you know, hey, you, you might even see him playing in a so slot at wide receiver because I mean, the kid can do a little bit of everything. It's, it's a beautiful thing, the type of athlete that we have at Georgia Southern and the ones that are capable of doing a lot of things. You know, Georgia Southern just picked up a lot of athletes going forward, um, you know, in the last, I say, 15, 20 years and just put them out there on the field and say, hey, we need you to do this, this, and this, and this, you know, and, and it worked out. Fun fact, you may not know, Jared McKinnon, all pro, I, I think he's an all pro, phenomenal running back at Kansas City. Y'all don't realize that guy played quarterback for us. You know what I'm saying? So he, he can do a little bit of everything as well. So it's just a trickle-down effect of what we've been accustomed to here at Georgia Southern. And speaking of GS men, the, all three of these guys are GS men. There's no doubt about it. And I would love to see the, the the impact that Najee Thompson has had on this team from day one through different regimes. When he transitioned over from from uh, uh, position to position and was still a team player and played at the highest ability of whatever position he was on. Press triangle, baby. And um, it, it's just a beautiful thing to see. You, you want guys like that on your roster when it comes to the professional for professional level. And hopefully all three of these guys make that make a roster somewhere. Because I think they will be able to be a big asset to any of these teams. You know, I, I just don't know what else to say about a guy like, like Najee Thompson. He's just a special, special kid. Very special, special young man. Amari Jones, another special, special young man. Kyle Van Trees, special, special young man. All three of these guys are absolutely going to be gems when it comes to actually, you know, putting their talents out there, if they can make it to the combine, whatever the kids, wherever the pro day they go to, somebody needs to watch these kids, watch these young men, and see what they're capable of doing. Because I think these guys will make a team and they'll be a big asset to them. And it's not just me being biased. I, I know I'm biased when it comes to George Southern, but I'm honestly saying that because I watch all three of these guys play football. I watch these guys, uh, you know, take care of themselves on and off the field. And there's no doubt in my mind that that's exactly what they are. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know my son's been in the background. It's just, it is, it, it be like that sometimes. So it is what it is. YouTube, Rumble, that's where you can find me on the visual side. Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcast is the podcast avenue. If you want to catch me on the podcast avenue or the podcast side and it's just been another great day it's been a weird day but it's been a great day and i hopefully you guys enjoyed your time you know i know things are a little bit different now because or feels a little different because of damar hamlin i hope that kid you know or that young man recovers it's really disheartening to see that but you know thoughts and prayers with him let me know what you guys think about this entire situation with these three guys going into their uh, dream of possibly being making an NFL team. Do you think it could happen? I think it can, and I think they'll be a big asset to any of these teams. I'm going to get up out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. 
and I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy, and y'all be blessed. Peace.